Ready? Ready? It's good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center, has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Single collar tie there. Ooh. Oh! Right, you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Choice's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Pretty good right hand. The Korean Super Boy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he hurt a belly the jab. Look at the turtle in that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, nice. Nice. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands the ground and pound strike. Right to side control, yep. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Straight right, he misses. Nice one-two there. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Big elbow there, Lance.
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Outstanding in the bottom there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just misses there with the left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. I'll be follow this. And he landed the right hand there. Missed with that attempt. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. He blocks the punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Oh, big left hand there. Takes him down. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't do is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhooks when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Right, he goes as the distance gets the single collar tie. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Digging kicks. Time his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop. Tom, stop. 
Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, big punch land. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He got him. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Oh! Huge block there. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice right hand. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie now. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good punch land. Nice kick to the body. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. And really starting to make these shots count. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, eats a knee. And they separate. Posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. 
This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Close guard. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at him driving shit into the whole body with that body kick. Just missed with the left there. Quick entry to get in on a single. That was a great single. Oh. oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high cross, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Huge knee lands to the plane. Back and forth we go here. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh. Oh. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Nice punch lands over the top. Blocks the shot. Well, missed on that one. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice strike. <laughs> Joy's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 37 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout.